All right? Yep. So let's see what happens. Okay. All right, so what is this number if we write it in trinary in base 3? You have, you have a marker. Yeah. So you have 3. You have, you have the digits in the trinary, right? Yeah. Which are... So we have all ones in trinary. Well, we we want to get and um we want to get a number where so we did before when we added one we got to another power. Yeah. So let me let, I'll tell you what. Let me try to squeeze this in for you here. So we have a number in base three that's a bunch of ones. Yeah. Let's just do four ones. Okay. But you have to add two to this to get. What what number did we want to try to relate this to we wanted before? To try to relate it to, to a number. Well, it was a number that when you added one to it, you got to the yeah. next power. Right. So the number the number we were particularly interested in was what? It was n. It was it would be. It was two to the n plus, n plus one. Two to the n plus one. So what do you think the number we might be interested in here? Is? I think it would be three to the n plus two though. Because if you add one, you don't really, it gets a little complicated. Okay. So this is our... I'm just using four. Yeah. So here's the ones, the threes, the three squared, and the three cubed. Hmm. So what, what power of three is the next power of three? Three to the fourth. Okay, so that would be this number, one, zero, 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 zero. Right? Yeah. If you if you add two to this to the one 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 base three, you you'd get the one zero 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 base four I main base three. Are you sure about that? Well, if you add one, you can have twos in base three. Yeah. And if you add well, if you add two, well, actually, then you get but then you this one would just jump ahead, and you wouldn't you wouldn't. Go anywhere with the other three. What if you added two? What if you added one to all of these and then added one? Yeah. So doubling and adding one. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what we did before. Hmm. The way to get from this number to this number is to double it first yeah. to get two, 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 and then what? Add one. one. Then add one. So if this is x, this is. It's going to be it's 2x plus, plus one. 1. 2x plus 1. And 2x plus 1 is 3 to the... N. <laughs> 3 to the N plus 1. It's the next power of 3. It's 3 to the N plus 1. Cool. Okay, so we get, our, we get that same relation. We get, if this sum is x, then we know 2x plus 1 is the next power of 3. 3 to the N plus cool. 1. Maybe and that means x is 3 to the n plus 1 minus 1 all over 2. two. Maybe, maybe we can use this. I think we can probably figure out this formula for other bases. Yeah. Let's do base 9. Okay. Want to see right. what happens in base yeah. 9? Cool. All right. Let's do that for our last one. Mm 